Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today I'm going to go over a Springfield Armory Hex Dragonfly. We're going to take a very close look at it as you can see. I uh, go over the features and so on. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so as you see, this is the, the red dot here. It does have a 3.5 MOA red dot. Um, the average runtime of the battery is going to be about a three year runtime using a CR2032 battery. Um, it, the Springfield Armory does say on the lowest setting you'll get about 100,000 hours, um, but obviously, uh, can't verify that and it is waterproof to IPX7. Okay, so uh, let's take a close look. The overall construction of uh, this red dot is 6061 T6 aluminum, so it is very rugged. You do not have to worry about that. Um, and so you can see right here, um, we have the Hex Dragonfly logo right here, or the, uh, the uh, branding information. You do have a button right here. This button is the on and off button and the only adjustment button. It has eight illumination settings. And it, when, you, when you press the button, it will start at the highest brightest setting. And, it, and then as you keep pressing it, it goes down to basically off and then press it again it will reset itself back to the highest setting if you hold that button for three seconds it will switch the red dot off and if you hold it again for uh, three seconds it will switch it back on and it also has a 16 hour auto shut off now with the auto shut off uh, I think there's some pros and cons to that. It's nice that it saves your battery life, but if this is a duty pistol or a, if you have this on a pistol that's your bump in the night pistol, uh, you do not want to have to worry about hitting that red dot uh, button to switch your red dot on. So eh, pros and cons to it, I guess. Um, but just be aware of that. It does have some really nice kind of uh, cutouts here, you know, kind of nice styling and things like that. It looks pretty cool. Uh, moving around to the front here, you're going to see that this Sorry, the birds are a little loud out here. You're gonna see that this has a nice little hood cover, basically, um, that covers the lens. Now there's, uh, for this, if you're gonna be racking your, your pistol or whatever, using the red dot, sorry, those birds are so loud. If you're gonna be racking this pistol using this red dot, that's gonna help uh, keep you uh, keep the lens from getting damaged by having this cover. Now, the other thing I think it possibly will do is actually helps uh, keep some of the sun out uh, from reflecting in there too badly. So kind of a cool little design. Uh, you can see the color on here. So it is multi-coated, it is scratch resistant as you would expect. And um, let's get a nice close up of the front here. So it is a nice large window as you can see. Um, very, very cool. Move around a little bit more here to the other side. And you can see we have some adjustments right here, the windage and elevation, there's the top adjustments right there. And let's move around to the back. Okay, on the back here, you're gonna notice it has these ridges right here and around here. And if I tilt this up, you can see it has ridges in the inside there. That's to stop the sun from, uh, from glaring. It's like an anti-glaring um, ridges. It stops that sun from glaring and kind of uh, and, do, and so especially on the inside, you don't want that sun reflecting in there and hitting your lens. So uh, yeah, so basically they've gone overboard and done it everywhere with this anti-glare stuff, which is fine. Um, you can see here the top of this hood is pretty thick material, so I'm not too worried about damaging this or dropping this. Um, it shouldn't break, fingers crossed. So cool, and uh, let's go in the underneath here. Now, as I said, it does take a CR2032 battery, as you can see right there. And then we have the mountain screws right here. It does not, uh, for the footprint, whoops, for the footprint, it is um, Springfield Army's own footprint, but it does fit footprints such as the Vortex Venom or the Burris Fast, uh, Fast Fire, but it does not fit a Trigicon Armour footprint, which is a shame, um, but yeah, that's what it does. That's what it fits. Um, it also comes with a base plate, ceiling plate, uh, which is required in some cases to help keep this waterproof and dirt and debris out. And it also ships with a low mount uh, pick rail mount, which is actually really helpful. And I really like that, uh, that it does come with that. Uh, let's uh, make sure that the uh, for the brightness, it's a nice bright day to day. Uh, let's check out the illumination settings. We have the red dot on here. This is the highest illumination. It's taking a little bit of my camera to pick up, but it is definitely daylight bright. Sorry for the shakiness. Uh, but as you can see there, um, obviously it works just fine. And it is a very, very bright day to day. So again, my camera is not picking up um, very well how bright the dot is but you are good to go. Okay, so I put the plate on and then I put on the low mount Picatinny mount uh, that they included in the box. 
um, you know, these it's a pretty decent little optic. I mean, these are coming in, you can get them for around 200 bucks. Um, and I think at that price, it's definitely uh, pretty good. Um, the only thing, I, as I say, downside is you're kind of limited to uh, the footprint. Again, if, I just kind of wish that um, there was a standard across the board that people would kind of use. So uh, p the users like us, um, you know, we could benefit from that. We could just kind of switch optics around. Um, but for $200, it definitely seems like it's a very, very, very good budget friendly optic for sure um, obviously this is probably going to be competing with the hollow suns it doesn't have the same a lot of the same features as hollow suns i mean the hollow suns have shake awakes they have solar power they are typically a little more uh, expensive as well but again for 200 dollars, i think these are uh, definitely worth a look at for sure um, so yeah all right folks that is pretty much it just a quick video if you have any questions any comments uh, please ask them below uh, i'll be happy to help out wherever i can uh, link is in the description if you wish to buy one of these and uh, that's pretty much it all right folks until next time i'll catch you later